Why, well, hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video adventure. Oh gosh, the hair is looking a little bit frizzy today. I tried that whole like heatless curls thing that's taking TikTok by storm and I'm not blown away by the results. I think they're okay, but you know, let's just run with it. It's probably unnecessary context in the scheme of this video, which is an Arquette unboxing. Very exciting. I can't remember the last time I placed an order with Arquette. I think it is probably I think this is probably the first order that I've placed with Arquette all year considering I wear a piece of Arquette on most days that I leave the house that's saying a lot it says that their pieces are classics and that they last a long time but it also demonstrates my fondness for the brand do love my Arquette and the reason why I haven't been shopping from Arquette as often as I would like is because of the dollar the Australian dollar has been very weak against the US dollar and when you're shopping from Australia you have to pay the US US dollar amount. So when the exchange rate isn't very friendly, then it's just not a very friendly experience. And so that's really been putting me off. But recently they did have a blanket 15% off site-wide sale, which I did share with you on my Instagram stories. I know a few of you did take advantage considering I'm constantly sharing my Arquette stuff there. And so this is me now unboxing that order. That was a few weeks ago, probably by the time that you are watching this video because I operate at a snail's pace on YouTube. But I am very excited to share with you the things that I've bought, a lot of these pieces form part of their classic core collection. So I do have my fingers crossed that a lot of these pieces will still be available by the time that I upload this video. But I'm just staring at the box. I'm going to show you the box. Oh, this is it. It arrived via the UPS delivery guy probably about a week ago and it's just been sitting on the bedroom floor just waiting for this very moment. I have scissors at the ready to cut this plastic cable that is keeping the box intact. It is always very satisfying to do. So yes, I'm going to proceed to share with you what I bought. From memory, I bought seven items to fill in some gaps with my existing basics collection to add a few more colors to the mix. Oh, there is the coat hanger. Cool. I'm just gonna move that lid out of the way. Okay, and so this is how it's, uh, it's looking, just with the coat hanger just sat on top. I have a little envelope here with likely my tax invoice and a return slip in the event that I will return things. Yes, that is correct. Okay, well, there you go. This is the, um, this is the coat hanger. Great way to kick things off. So yeah, let the festivities begin. This is the first item that I have grabbed at the top of the pile. It is their classic crew neck t-shirt in their new khaki green color. I love their crew neck t-shirts. I've waxed lyrical about them. I have them in about seven or eight different colors, I'm pretty sure. I've got it in white, I've got it in off-white, I've got it in gray, navy, black, brown, darker brown, just you name it, I've got it. The cut of their classic crew neck tee is my favorite by far across all of the classic crew neck tees that I have tried and I've tried my fair share from Uniqlo, from Jack and Jack, from Acne Studios even. Arquette is hands down the best cut and it's made from an organic cotton and so it feels really premium. On their website, it says it's like a single source cotton as well. They're not pulling cotton from all random sources. If you are a cotton enthusiast, then you might like that fact. I can go either way. But what the result is, is a very silky, smooth cotton t-shirt, which is a very unusual way to describe a cotton tee, considering they're not technically really meant to be silky smooth. But I have found that to be the case with all of my Arquette t-shirts. And so that is a real sign of like its premium quality to me and the price is pretty good it's around 30 bucks Australian dollars per tee which I think is well worth it considering this is a wardrobe staple of mine I wear these to work I also wear these when I'm off duty this is a new khaki color in a size small that is the size that I typically take in the short sleeve t-shirts and I take an extra small in their long sleeve t-shirts but I do like a more oversized fit for their short sleeve this one is just a really lovely color great for the upcoming spring summer season for me. I am going to throw this one on and share with you what I think. Though I think that you already know how I feel about this. This is how it looks in its original state. My no-brainer crew neck t-shirt. But typically what I do is I do like a kind of a tuck situation just to make me look a little bit more elongated. Just added another colour to the mix. 
of my Arquette crew neck t-shirt library. I think this is number nine now. But I just I just love them so much. <laughs> I really do. Everyone always asks me, like, is there another crew neck t-shirt that you would recommend? And I mean the ones that I've tried, they're just not as good as these ones. And so the answer to that is no. <laughs> it's just this guy. I like the sagey colour on this one. It's the perfect mix between grey and khaki. Off to a strong and predictable start. Next up I have a knit in um, a merino fabric in the colour that I already own. This is their merino knit fabric in top. Got it in like the crew neck knit top. The short sleeve version as well as the long sleeve version. And I decided to expand my collection somewhat with a roll neck. Yes, this is the roll neck. So here we go. Very simple. I love these baby wool knit tops because they make such great layering pieces, but also merino wool is excellent because it is both warming and breathable. And considering this is from Arquette's new autumn winter collection, I always find that I am buying a lot of Arquette knit pieces for winter, for my winter. At the end of my winter, like right now, we've just kickstarted our spring. But these are the sacrifices you have to make when you live in opposite seasons. Anyway, I find this torpy color to be very flattering on my skin tone. There are little flecks of like peach and khaki in there and it is just a great neutral tone to wear. It pairs really well with navy and black, like all of the suiting that I have in my collection. I think that these tops are just really excellent for that purpose. I am not really a roll neck type person. I'm more of a mock neck when it comes to my knits, but I figured for a baby wool style top, which is designed to be rather fitted and very thin, that it would be okay for that purpose. And so yes, let's give this one a go. I'm not 100% sure whether this will work on me, but I um, already love the color, so let's see. I went with my usual size in these merino uh, knit tops, a size small, and I think it fits me very well. I love the color. I think it's very flattering, but I'm not so sold on the uh, roll neck, turtleneck on me. I think that I just can't get it to a point where I'm happy with how it's sitting. Maybe I'll try with two hands, just give me a tick. Okay, I've made it somewhat neater, but yeah, I'm not, um, not feeling this one. Not feeling it as much as I should anyway. I think that if maybe you were taller and had a longer neck, then it would look really nice with a midi skirt, for example. But I think that this one is a no from me. It's just gonna call it, just gonna call it now. I'm not even gonna ask for opinions. Next up, I have a knit. This is their heavier weight cotton knit, I'm pretty sure. Do you know that striped knit that I already have in my collection that is hugely popular? It's all over Pinterest, it's all over Instagram. I got that style knit but in a different colorway because I like the style and I just wanted to see whether there would be a place for another color in my collection. So I got this one. It's an ivory colored version of that knit and it's got this detail here along the hemline, along the cuffs and along the neckline. Um, the finishing on this is not ideal as you can see particularly on the corners here. And I feel like on the corners would be where it would be most visible, particularly if it's on the neckline. So I'm not sure how I feel about this one. I do like the striped version, which is why I wanted to give this one a go. I got myself an extra small for this one because it's more of an oversized cut. Let's see how this one goes. I'm not entirely sure if I'm happy with the finish of this one. I've just also noticed how it looks on the hem here too. It's just a little bit uneven. I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, let's pop it on. These polo style knit tops always look so effortless, don't they? And I really love the colour of this too. It's a really nice off-white colour. The only thing that is niggling at me are just the finishes on some of these. Sort of uneven there, a little bit uneven there, a little bit uneven with some of the details here on the collar. And you know, perhaps that's just part of it. Perhaps that's what gives the knit top personality. But I 
think I want a little bit of order in this style top. Well, I do like how it looks overall. I like how the sleeves are a bit long as well. I just sort of like how it just looks a little bit oversized and relaxed. I think ultimately those little things would bug me a little bit too much. And I just noticed there, that's just it on the neckline, which is a shame because it's so simple in its design, but it's just those little details that just kind of really get to me, which is a little bit annoying. But overall, really digging the look. It's ultimately just uh, would come down to personal preference and whether or not you would embrace the things that I have clearly rejected. So yeah, let me know where you stand on that spectrum. Okay, next up we have another knit. This is their Merino knit top, which I have in many, many colors and I have constantly featured. I got this one in a lilac color because I am enjoying lilac at the moment. Let me just work out how to open this bag. Aha. There we go. Lilac colored merino knit top in a size small. That is my usual size with these tops. I have a fair few sort of like active wear hiking pieces in lilac and I really like the color. And then I realized that I wanted to integrate it into my everyday wardrobe as well. Hence giving this one a go. As soon as this color popped up, it very much piqued my interest. This top or this style top, I should say, is a tried and true one for me. I have this style top in, I think at least five different colors. I've got it in black, in top, in brown, in a print and also in this yellowy vanilla -y color too. They are my favorite layering pieces for work, which I have mentioned earlier. Let's pop this one on and let's assess whether or not it should stay in my wardrobe. This is so much more stylish than the lilac hiking tops that I wear, but I really feel like lilac is the color of the season. And I mean, this style is tried and true for me, so I think it fits really well. It's just great quality as I have come to know and love. And I'm a fan of the color. I do get asked this quite a bit with this style top that I have now in six colors, I think it is. Whether I'm okay with the fact that it is slightly sheer, I actually don't mind it. I quite like it. I think that's just the nature of the fact of it being a fitted knit top. Really happy with how this color pairs with my skin. And so I'm definitely gonna keep this one, even though we are in the middle of spring at the moment, we've just come out of our colder season. I'm just gonna hang on to it as I do with all of my knits and embrace them again when the autumn season comes around next year. But for those of you that are about to enter your autumn season and you have a similar skin tone to me, then I think that you will be very pleased with this job. Oh, I have another t-shirt. Should have unboxed it at the same time as I did with the khaki shirt. Anyway, going a little bit out of order. I have another t-shirt and it is in their charcoal color, size small as well. Don't have charcoal in my collection yet. It has like a little bit of a brown tone to it as well, which I'm really digging. Let's pop this one on and let's see how we like this color as well, shall we? There's not really much to say about this one, apart from the fact that yeah, it's another one to add to the t-shirt library. I really like the new colors that they have as part of their new autumn collection. Now I have a pair of trousers, which I think it's the first pair of trousers that I've tried from Arquette from memory, but I've typically avoided getting trousers from them because I'm petite. It's always really hard with trousers online. I have had some success with some other brands, but I always find it a little bit tough with high street labels because they're always cut for people that are a lot taller than me. In any event, I wanted to give these ones a go. They're a cargo style. These ones are sealed shut. They're like a wider leg cargo style pant. And I don't have a pair of cargo pants in my collection yet. Not since the 90s when I rocked them during my high school days. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to try these on. These look really wide. <laughs> these also look a little bit big. They're a size 36, a size UK. They should fit me. They also look a little bit long. I'll show you what inspired me, I guess, from the model in the picture. I thought that she looked very relaxed and very chill and I wanted to channel that. But yeah, I'll be honest guys, I am a little bit apprehensive about these ones. I'm not sure whether they're going to work with my proportions. Let's just pop them on anyway and let's see whether they will be satisfactory. Okay, so the length on these ones isn't too bad. I'm wearing five centimeter heels and they work. But I think it's ultimately the barrel leg. I 
think it's a little bit too barrel-y for my frame. I mean, ideally the bottom of the pants should be hitting my ankles and that's not happening. And so I think I just look overall rather frumpy and it's accentuating the fact that I am vertically challenged. I thought these would be a disaster and they're not that, but they're not a success if you get what I'm saying. Having said that, there are a few design elements that are worthwhile pointing out that I think are quite cool. The pockets are great. I think there's this patchwork detail at the knees, which is really cool. And the fabric seems like it is quite robust, very good quality. Something to note is that it has a button fly as well. So if you're a zip fly person, that that might go into your pro con analysis there. That is the situation. I think if the barrel was more barrelly at my ankles, I would definitely consider it. But I just don't think that these trousers were designed with someone who was 5'2 in mind. And last but not least, this is actually the item that sparked the order in the first place. A jacket from their new autumn range. My favourite spring jacket is the cropped trench coat from Arquette. I have that in two colours. I think it's currently only available in the beige colour. I think that it's just a really stylish jacket and it's such good quality. I know a lot of you guys have taken me up on that recommendation too. But they have another jacket that looks very stylish, probably a little bit dressier than the trench coat that I have previously shared. It's this collarless style jacket here which I feel looks very scandy looks really quite chic and very polished I am not sure whether it will work on me I wanted to give it a go though because it is oversized there are a few things going on with this jacket that do break a few rules when it comes to dressing as a petite person but I did want to add some additional transitional season jackets to my rotation that weren't blazers I just wanted something a little bit more casual but a little bit polished as well and I felt like this fit the bill. Let us try this one on. I got this one in a size a UK 6, a European 34, just knowing that it would be a rather oversized style. I was most excited about this one. I am apprehensive though. Let's try. I think this is a very stylish jacket. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe all of my trench coats are rather traditional this is made of the same material as my cropped trench coat as well from Arquette and the same color same buttons I'm pretty sure as well this neckline I am not sure how it should sit I think I just have to have a little bit more of a play with it but I mean you're definitely meant to embrace the oversized cut I got myself the size 34 which is the equivalent of a UK or Australian size 6 knowing that it would be an oversized fit on me and the sleeves are a little bit long so I've had to fold them up yeah initial impressions are all very positive but I think I need to sit with this one for a little bit just to see whether or not I can style it in many different ways I think it looks you know fine with a pair of jeans that I'm wearing but everything looks great with a pair of jeans very excited to see whether this will work but um, this is one where I definitely think I would benefit from crowdsourcing opinions so let me know what you guys think I would be very interested to hear from you so that's it guys those are the seven items that I bought the mess that I have now created on my bed talking through each of them I hope that you found this useful particularly if you haven't shopped from Arquette yet I know that there are a fair few people in Australia that are hesitant to do so and I understand that because shopping online has its challenges let me know whether you agreed with my initial thoughts I should probably make note of the fact that the returns process isn't as straightforward and when I say it's not as straightforward it's not free you do have to pay a fee the courier does come to your house to collect your parcel but there's that additional fee which you should factor in as to whether or not you know you want to buy for me the catalyst was definitely that site-wide 15% off sales for me to finally place my order and so yes if you enjoyed this video then be sure to let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel if you haven't already it really does help me out and I will see you guys in my next video bye